One of the amazing things about the van life and bus life community is the generosity and the amazing people involved in it who want to help others. And today I'm going to do a tour of Tamara's bus that she's been living in for about two and a half years. And this is a result of the generosity and the community efforts and crowdsourcing to put together an amazing vehicle. I hope you enjoy this tour and get to know Tamara a little bit better. Hi, I'm Tamara Hyde. Um, this is my 2006 Chevy Express Bluebird short bus. It's a five window. Um, I have been in here um, two and a half years since July 2017. I've been on the road since September 2015. Previous to this, I was in a compact car for two years, very intentionally, living very abundantly. All right, come on inside, y'all. So the way that I came to be in this bus is pretty unusual. Um, I had been on the road already for two years, and I was living in a compact car, and I went to year one of Jamie Diamond of Enigmatic Nomadic's um, van build party out here in the Arizona desert. And um, I said, how can I make a contribution? He handed me a camera and said, go do interviews. And I did. And uh, next time I saw him, he said, hey, my viewers really liked you. I need more footage of you. I'm like, you do great things. I'm happy to help. And then, um, meanwhile, I had set the intention for the new year in 2017 that I wanted a home I could stand up in. Uh, it was just time. And I'd kind of put that out there that that was, you know, by the end of the year, I wanted to have acquired a vehicle and started the build. And I thought it would take like three years of just screwing it up and figuring it out. And meanwhile, Jamie comes up with this idea to do one conversion start to finish and have a video series. And it would be kind of a resource for people. And so he approached me and said, hey, would you be the recipient? And of course I was mind blown and um, actually took three days to kind of like chew on the idea. It was intimidating. Um, but of course, like when you're manifesting something and it falls in your lap, you don't say no. So, uh, so yeah, I agreed. I, I could do that for you, Jamie. <laughs> and so um, I came to live in this home by, uh, by way of generosity and other people's hard work and creativity, which is bizarre. Um, but um, yeah, I feel grateful all of the time and it couldn't, it couldn't suit me better. It couldn't fit me better. I love this home. Um, so I'm a primitive living wilderness survival instructor and I've worked as a backcountry guide for many years. And so um, I'm particularly a desert rat, but I do spend a little bit of time in other envi environments as well. Um, but I love to bring the outdoors in and I love to create things out of what um, the earth provides, beautiful and useful things, crafts and skills. And so that's what a lot of this represents. This is a gourd canteen. This is some leather work, a bag that I made. I just go crazy with the fringe sometimes. Um, this is a drum. This is actually a a headband made of bison horns because you got to have that. So this is my kitchen. This is what consists of my kitchen. So my little sink, which is, I mean, it's small, but it's all I need. Um, my stove, which was given to me by Jax Austin. And I even have this little fan here, which was given to me by a fellow called Steve in um, Alaska. And then I have this winter's fridge given to me by a lady called Robin Barnes because Jamie crowdsourced a lot of uh, the things that, that went in here. Um, and so this is winter's fridge and, um, then I, below my sink, I just have, uh, a seven gallon tank that it draws from. And then I have two five gallons that I can fill that from. And I just carry eight gallons of drinking water. I'm just one person and, uh, I just conserve. And so that does me just fine. Um, everything I have is on solar except for the stove and the, and the Mr. Buddy heater, which are on propane. Um, but I'd like to upgrade to a wood burning stove at some point. So. Um, and, um, you know, again, just bringing natural things in, um, there's a fellow who really likes me, who is addicted to giving me flowers. And so, um, you know, works great with the decor. And then, uh, this is like primitive pottery that I made. Um, and then some basketry and, you know, again, just natural elements. This is one of the touches that I added is um, putting these little antler handles on. My friend Jason and I did this, um, which just, again, kind of you know, reflects my personality and my interests. And um, we, you know, kept the wood bare and natural, which I really like. At some point I might decide to change that, but it, it you know, it matches me. Welcome to my bedroom um, at, this is a full size bed, just shy of a full size actually. And then I have the storage above and I just had like mesh bags with my clothes in it. And I was like, I need a better solution, something more attractive. And I was just in the thrift store and had a stroke of genius. And so I've got my clothing organized in these uh, suitcases. Um, and then under the bed, there's storage as well. And at last year's van build a few months ago, um, a couple guys called Felix and Reed 
put these boxes in for me, which helps me be a lot more organized and have uh, better access to my stuff. Um, so that's, you know, upgraded my standard of living. Um, I have more storage up here. This was original to the bus, which is so handy to use that vertical space. Um, and I, you know, again, I started with these, you know, tacky little uh, Tupperware bins at first. And then in the thrift store, I saw these cute baskets. And so for a while, I was just collecting them, little mismatched baskets to keep um, other miscellaneous clothing items in. And, um, and this is my dinette where I can entertain and socialize or, you know, use as a desk, work on crafts. Um, these seats are original to the bus as well, of course. So I have a shower stall, which is something that is pretty unique to a short bus. Um, and that's a really cool feature. And then I made a compost toilet, which is basically a bucket with a toilet seat, urine diverter. Um, so super simple, super basic. Um, I would show you, but like many people, I use my closet as storage when I'm not showering. And then there's this cute little tiny closet just where I keep my guitar that I don't know how to play and my dresses. Uh, this is my solar controller. My friend Ben Wampler gave me uh, this and and I have uh, 405 watts of solar on the roof and then I have two big batteries below my fridge and um, I don't use a whole lot of power so it's more than enough for me even on a cloudy day but um, recently a friend did uh, install one of those solenoid what's it so I can now um, you know if it is a couple of uh, cloudy days I can actually charge the house battery off my engine which is fantastic my pal Chase who lives in st. George Utah is a really talented welder and I have had a desire for a roof rack and so he helped me out with that so let's go check that out so I love having this space up here because um, I can watch the sunset get an aerial view of the neighborhood say hello to people as they walk by um, there was a band playing the other day and Cammie and I were up here dancing it makes a great dance floor um, you can just you know take a nap look at the stars um, yeah it's like my porch I hope you enjoyed this tour of Tamara's school bus and were able to appreciate all of the work and effort from the community that went into creating this uh, wonderful living space for this delightful young lady. Thank you so much for watching, savor the moment, and I'll hope to see you in a future video tour.